I didn't know there was turbo boosters. <laughs> Hello, everyone. RBG Kingdom Giddy are back with more Ninu Kune 2, Revenant Kingdom. In the last video, we uh, did some more side content, and then we got the Zeppelin. Now we're going to give drop off Zip at uh, Broadleaf. So, that's what we're doing. Thanks. Thanks, guys. How about the Zeppelin, huh? She flies like a dream. Look out there now, you hear? Right, tell me, Hardies. Homeward we go. Wait, Zip arrived right when Leander was about to tell something, didn't he? What was it you wanted to say, Leander? Yes. Let's just turn home first. We will talk more there. Hmm. Mm, roll in, what are you doing? Mm, I love the little jump that they do. Okay, so, but before we actually go do more side content, because we will, or pff, before we do more side content, before we go do the main story, we are actually going to go do this side content first. We're just going to do that. Ah, oh, shit, I was going to look. I, I still don't think I have the necessary thing for that anyway, so... Um, we're going to do this. I thought I for sure saw a cave somewhere. Oh, there we go. Five, five. I've met my true love. Now we shall be together for all eternity. Oh, this is bliss. Yar, feast your eyes on this fearsome beast. It wasn't easy getting this shot, I tell ye. I was convinced. If it's me luck, I'd run out and I was destined to end up as a monster's breakfast. But if ye'd snap a fang fish, ye need to see its mighty gob in all its glory. Look at its mouth. I've never seen the like. I don't know how you did it. This is the most awesome thing ever. You really is your life for this one. Thank you so much for wonderful work. This is simply extraordinary. You went all the way to the desert? Gosh. Can you believe Zip is letting us have his airship? He's so kind. Of course, we had to get rid of the stupid, ugly face on the front. Like a whole lot better before, you know. Zip, I hate to break it to you. He really did. Aye, she's in the wrong place, pal. Yeah, you think, Craigie, you got rid of that ugly mug. I'm afraid you are solely mistaken, Zip. Looks much better now. Okay, okay, enough. All right, I get it. I get it. Poor Zip. At least I hope I need the... Yeah, there we go. Oh, damn. Huh? Hey, don't these tools look like the ones they use in cast... Capstan upon hull? Hmm. They certainly do, but what are they doing all the way out here? Oi! Wait. You don't think they belong to Keeley's father, do you? I mean, she did say he was heading in this direction. What if someone happened at sea and he ended up being washed ashore here? Oh, my. You're right, Tani. They must be his. They don't seem to have been used in a while, though. I hope this doesn't mean... Huh? Uh-huh. It's a kick ghost Battle stations, everyone. Oh, battle stations, everyone. It doesn't seem like it wants to hurt us. Do something! Light though, Evan! You know what to do! Cast spear meet him on this spooky son, Sonya! And by your... Let's see what he has to say for himself! 
Do I know sp uh, sp Do I know that skill? I guess I do. Cast spirit medium. Oh, sweet! Now I can talk to the spirits. It's all right, pain in the neck. Is this talk and talk? Man, all can understand all I'm trying to say. Uh, says you. We can hear you loud and clear. Thank you very much. What, really? Alas, how do? Name's Scully. I'm a fisherman from Caspin upon Hull. Nice to meet you, Scully. But what are you doing here, if you don't mind me asking? Well, it's a right long story, is what it is. I'll start when I set sail from Caspin and me ship. We're all going swimming well till I got caught in an awful storm. The wind and the waves were bad enough, but then I got stuck to the blooming whirlpool. We ship were wrecked and I end up here. This cave looked like a good place to put me head down for a while, you see. Thought I was safe at first, but fat chance of that. Got attacked by monsters and that were the end of me. And all I wanted to do now is go and apologize to our Keeley back in Caspin. For leaving her to fend for herself, you know. I can't even leave this cave. Funnily enough, it was Keeley who asked us to try and find you. Mm -hmm. That's right. She's still in Caspian and waiting for you to come home. So the poor thing's been waiting for me this whole time. Oh, I don't bear thinking about... Yeah, you could do me a favor, could you? The monsters that attacked me pinched me necklace. I don't suppose you'd be willing to go and get back for me. Huh? What, man? What's a flipping necklace got to do with that piece of fish? Well, I was hoping to take it back to Caspian to give it to Arkeely as a souvenir, see? It'd make me feel a whole lot better if she had something to show for me running off and leaving her in the lurch. Then of course we'll go and get it back for you. You will. Uh, you're a fine lad. I'll not be able to do much in, very, in return, mind. I could maybe visit you in your dreams and sing you a couple of sea shanties, or... Um, I think we're all right on for sea shanties, thanks. Let's go and get that necklace back, shall we? I still never found a good... I've never found a good voice for Tanny. Defeat Clog! Oh dear god. Seriously, you, you're not letting me... Are you serious? You're not going to let me climb that incline? Oh my god, they're really letting me... Ah, this is such... This is so stupid. Alright, what level are you at? And we'll... Oh, fuck, I still... I just realized I still have a lot of shit I need to go by. Mm, hold on. Okay. I need to go buy supplies. inside. Done so, learn more to get XP. There was this place over here that scrimmages this experience. Can I make it? Yes, Maximize party members' awareness and battle, making them earn a lot more of experience. Damn, holy fuck! 
Let's go and cost a lot. Ah, uh, can I level you up? Uh, nope. You're gonna take a while. Um. Yun Main. Let's see if I can put her in here too. People to do this anyway with the thing, so alrighty, that's fine though. Um, what will I look at? All right. Oh, no, 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 damn it. Can I level you up? I don't have enough money. Oh my god, that takes a lot of money. Uh, okay. We are done with research. What do I need to do to expand my coffers? I need money. That's what I need. Shopping, eh? Come to do some shopping, eh? Oh, now you're selling these. Thank God. What else can I do? I'll be seeing you again then. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's just go. Let's get out of the kingdom. Actually, hold on. Before I go, okay. I just wanted to make sure, like, that I didn't have anything full. Like, the, 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 the items weren't full. I honestly don't see a difference in the turbo boost. Like, I'm holding it down right now. Eh, maybe there's a difference. I mean, it just zooms out. That's all I can see for now, so. Wait a minute. Back to Evermore. Oh, but do I have to talk to Leander in the castle? I'm going to assume that's what I got to do. Oh, if we do the thing here, it's fine. Damn, look at this. And we still have one more upgrade to do. I guess that one area. need to do anything in the desert here?
All right, let's see how we do against this guy. I think we can beat him. He's like, what? Oh, right, 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 right. One other thing I need to do. Uh, fuck, what uh, thing is he? Oh, they don't show me him as that song. Oh, he's a leaf guy, okay. He's a leaf guy, okay. Fully restored the party's HP. Damn, that's actually very helpful. Damn it. I own Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, are you fucking kidding me? You literally just need like one more hit. I think everyone leveled up from that. Kelly's keepsake. Daddy, come home. Oh, this is so fucking dumb. I hate this. It's literally like, come on. So unnecessary, man. Yes, that's it. That's me necklace. Ta, very much, kid. I mean it. Now, I hate to be cheeky get. Be a cheeky get, but I need you to do me one last favor and take it to our Keely and Cap Capstan. The look on her face will make it worth your while, I promise. Mm. Of course. Just leave it to us, Scully. Ta, very much, lad. You're one of the good ones, you are. Right, I'll be off then. ta -ra. Gone. 
Ah, oh, well, he may have ran off and left her without a dad, but he loved her in his own way, yeah? Right back to the gas it is then. So we'll go to Caspin, we'll get our two new people, and there's that. And then we'll head and do a story. Excuse me. We've got something for you, Keely. Uh. Eh. Hey, that's a right nice necklace. That is. Is it really for me? Yeah. Yes, your. Well, your dad gave it to us to pass on to you. Your dad got this for me. I don't think you had any idea what kind of things I liked. You know, if you lot haven't come along when you did, I'd probably have stood here forever waiting for the old goat to come back. Toffa still stands. If the office still stands, I'd love to come and join you in Kingdom to say thanks. Oh. Of course, the office still stands, Kiri. We love to have you. Ta very much. Ta very much, Your Majesty. We urchins. I grew up by the sea in good old Caspian, so to oceans, me best friends like. That's why I'm right. Really great that everyone's nice and close to the water and all. It's a nice picture I took. I reckon I'll be right happy here. I best make myself useful and build a boat or two. I'm actually curious, like, because of this thing right here. I mean, granted, it could be because, you know, of the whole story bit. But it's weird that it came when it did. Does it mean that we can get these people to, like, join us or something? Or is it just kind of like a nice little, hey. Hey, yo. Hey, up, Evan. It's right good to see you. Now, I said I was going to give you something to make it all the better I caused, didn't I? Well, I want to have a word with Mr. Wright. But he, we can come with a, what you might need. I mean, you've already got a ship. Well, here's an idea for you. Seth, me, if Seth give me something. Well, here's an idea for you. Seth, give me something. Why don't you come and live in my kingdom? We've always looking for new people to come and help us. Evermore's a wonderful place, and we could really do a more talented ship right like you. Plus, you've always wanted to be living somewhere else, haven't you? I think it'd be more pe perfect. I think it'd be both be the perfect solution for mm. everyone. Up sticks and move over your way. That's a big step, but I uh, go on then. I'll soon make him all saving his skin and mm. then some. That's wonderful. Thank you, Tiller. Alright, with that, we are done with some side quests for now. So, let me just look at all the people that uh, still need to be brought in. Obviously this person, I need to do six more of those. You, I need to make stuff, and you, I need to give you stuff. So, we just have three, I have all the people that we have, just three people. Okay. Now... Uh -huh. stuff. Uh, I don't think that's enough to make what I need to make, is it? That might be. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, no. What was it I need to make?
It was this, but I don't... Don't have enough, enough IQ. Everyone be dumb. I mean, I could level it up. Nah, hold off on it, though. Uh, actually, you know what? I should be saving my money so I can increase how much money I get. Which I have enough of. So there we go. Alright, I did just get two new people so I can probably move them to where they need to be, which is down... Uh, where the fuck is it? Oh, it's right there. I have, everyone is in a spot, right? I think everyone's in a spot. Yeah, everyone but Keely. Lumberyard, so she's better as a lumberyard, okay. I think I already have a lumber yard thing already, don't I? Yeah. Yep, everyone's at a spot now. Go talk. Actually, let's save first. Let's save. If I may be so bold. This matter I would like to discuss with everyone. I have some of them all here. You won't be able to play freely for a while after this point. Are you sure you want to proceed? Yeah, might as well. No. It's the matter I wish to discuss with you all. We have been receiving some rather unsettling news of late from within the kingdom. There's been reports of certain resources being unaccounted for. And of a suspicious hooded character having been sighted. These, among several other developments, have ca become a cause of some concern. Huh? A robe swab, ye say? And a shady sword to boot, hmm? So, we've a thief among our number, eh? That ain't good. That ain't good at all. Uh huh. No, not good, not good. Golly! Could there really be people in our kingdom who would do such things? I suppose this real person would be able to tell us. Yeah. Yeah, because he's obviously the one doing the stealing. Huh. Guess it's no such. Guess it's not such a surprise. Security around here isn't exactly what you'd call tight. No, listen here. What say we co converse, convene as a little powwow to talk about how to catch this pilfer of ours? Hmm. Tonight after dinner, perhaps. Hmm. After all, it is best to strike while the iron's hot with such matters as these. What'd you say, Roland lad? No. Sorry, can't make it. I've been working too hard. I need to catch up on a little sleep. But if it's urgent, feel free to go ahead without me. Mm. Mm. Very well, Roland. I hope you enjoy your rest. You deserve it. Thanks. Thanks, I will. Mm, yep, if you guys remember what happened at the beginning of this chapter. I. Arr.
You have my thanks. I must thank you again for providing us with the items and information we require, Roland. Uh-huh. Don't mention it. I don't know if there's anything else you need. No. There's one thing I have been mean to ask. What? What? Why do you serve such a kingdom? Fledging realm populated by bandits and vagabonds? Surely our place is best suited for someone of your inestimable in talents. I guess I kind of used to performing on a bigger stage. <laughs> Maybe it's time I went to some place where they appreciate me a little more. Enemy is a relative term after all. <laughs> Sage ones indeed. Well, uh, you have done more than enough to earn our gratitude. If you ever wish for a change of scenery, you'd be welcome to join us. Dog. So he's selling his soul to the eyes bitter now, is he? Hey, if that's so, then. So, Roland, get up to much last night, did you? Meet with any interesting characters? Last night? I don't know what you're talking about. Spare us your lies. Spare us. You're a traitor, man. Fixing to leave our little kingdom behind for bigger and better. Don't bother to deny it. Roland? Surely not. Surely so, lad. Or did ye think it a coincidence that our precious resources only go missing on this treacherous dog's watch? And what are the shady fella in the cloak he met with this past evening? Just an old pal come for a chinwag, was he? Good old chinwag. I'd like to hear ye explain that little lot away, Mr. President. Be some mistake, mustn't there, Leander? Leander One should not rush to judgment on the basis of hearsay alone, but I must say, this does seem somewhat irregular. What there you have it? Now sling your hook before I sling it for you, you scurvy swine. You scurvy swine. So that's how much trust I've earned, huh? Good to know. Maybe I would be better off someplace else. Someplace my talents will be appreciated. He as good as admits it. So long, Batu. Heaven. And everyone else? Fuck you. Roland! You can't! Not even the slightest attempt to defend himself. One cannot help but wonder if Batu's suspicions were well founded. No! No! Well, now. And who are you? Mm -hmm. Forgive me, Chief Counsel. Or should I say. Former chief consul. So you saw that too, huh? Well, what do you want with me? Why, to engage your services, of course. You have information that will be quite useful to us, I'm sure. Hmm, that's quite the offer. What exactly did you have in mind? Hmm. For one such of yourself? Oh, plenty, my friend, plenty. But if you wish to know more, you must speak with my master. Oh, yeah? And who might that be? <laughs> Why, Keen Mousinger, of course. There's no need to be coy. Huh. Oh well. Looks like I landed on my feet. Like a cat. Tanny, can you stop walking back and forth? Blimey. He didn't come back all night. And we said, come bish after him. But he hasn't reported back in either. Oh. Oh, Roland.
going down. Mousinger awaits you in the throne room. Please make your way straight ahead. And on that note, I must leave you. I do hope you, that your conversation with His Majesty proves fruitful. Oh God. Betrayal! You can't travel to any chip doors at the moment. Pay the price for your betrayal. Your betrayal. We haven't been here since the beginning of the game, you know? Like, what was it? Like, part one? And now we're, like, on, what, part 20-something? And here we are. Back here. Back again at the Krispy Kreme. Greetings. What a pleasure. It seems an age since last we met. So much has happened since I took my rightful place upon the throne. Majesty. So this is the famous Verlin. Well, well, well. Ah, but I forgave myself. I'm Chancellor Vermin. Charmed, I'm sure. I've been following your work with great interest. To have made an almost vi viable ruler of young Evans quite the feat. Yes, a stirring achievement. <laughs> <I'm> flattered. <laughs> I remember very well how you thwarted my design for our young friend. But rest assured, I bet you no ill will on that account. I have been examining your nature, your actions, and I decide that you and I m may be able to come to an agreement. Glad to hear it. And good of you to get straight to the point. All right. Shall we get down to business? In terms are simple, I want power. Maybe a little money, too. Give me those, and I'll give you what you want. I'll only give you Evan. <laughs> I don't even make it the best use of the talents of those in my employ. Forgive me. But I'll require you to prove yourself first. Oh, uh, yeah? Mm. Yes. We have a bad little test for you in the dungeons. Let us see if your loyalties really are really as fluid as you claim. Dungeons for a test, huh? Something tells me I'll go like, bah, fuck you. Am I going the right way? I mean, I guess. Although the other thing still said Evan's room. That's... Master Roland! Master Roland! You... You're one of Batu's men. Aye, that I am. Kumbish is the name. Kumbish! This gentleman was apprehended after being observed behaving suspiciously in our airspace. It is our belief that he is a spy. Curse you, ye devils! Didn't I say already? I was looking for Master Roland! For me? Why? <laughs> Forgive me, Your Honor. Seems I... Made a blunder? <laughs> you sure did. And why am I not surprised? Roland? Now, Mr. Crane, 
to us. Mr. Crane. Let us see where your allegiance truly lies. Dispatching one of your former allies should provide us with adequate proof that you are ready to serve a new master. No, no. Listen here, you rat-faced swab, you. Is something the matter? Surely you are capable of such a straightforward show of commitment? Or could it be that we have an imposter in our midst? An imposter? Don't get ahead of yourself. Let's just say I prefer to use my own methods. Master Roland! No! We're shipmates! You, you can't just... Nothing Sorry. personal, kid. It's nothing personal. <laughs> we were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Ah! Curse you for the traitor you are! Ah! <laughs> Happy now? Happy enough. Happy enough. Hmm. It's been days now, man. When's old Rolly boy coming home, eh? Yeah. Kumbash never came back after we sent him out to look for me either. Where did Roland disappear to? We had to go and look for him. He might need our help. He needs nothing from us, girly. And he'll get nothing. The man's a turncoat and a turncoat and a traitor, damn him. But, but... He isn't. He can't be. I refuse to believe it. It must be some sort of strategy of his. Mustn't it, Leander? I would advise you to forget about him, your majesty. He's no longer your concern. Forgive me. Forgive me, sire. We have more pressing worries. Give the traitor no more thought. What? What? You too? What? Wow, talk about cold. Wasn't Roland one of our best friends five minutes ago? Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's my plan. Figure it should keep this, those Grimlikin troublemakers out of your hair for a while at least. Ugh. To have formulated such a thorough strategy in so short a time is really quite something, I must say. Impressive indeed. It seems I was entirely justified in welcoming you into the fold. Now, there's another factor I have been me to ask of you. The Mark of Kings. You have heard of it? Sure. Sure. It's handed down from generation to generation of royals here in Ding Dong Dell. Proof of the right to rule. Without it, it's impossible to access certain places. It works as a kind of key, too, correct? Mm. Precisely. It is a pendant of brightest blazing red. A beautiful object indeed. And is necessary if one wishes to enter our nation's king's crater. I <laughs> guess you don't have it and you want it. Mm -hmm. You are amenly can say as ever. We have searched the castle high and low, and yet it is nowhere to be found. Which leads me to believe that it is not, in fact, here. <sighs> sure isn't. It's around Evan's neck. Every minute of every day. He needs to get a hold of it. Well, that doesn't mean it'll be impossible. I'll need a few fiends in a little time. And you shall have all that you need. There's no other to whom such a task can be entrusted, after all. Say. How about you, Your Excellency? Any errands you want a new guy to run? <laughs> My lie. It's very kind of you. Let me see now. Ah, I should be very much obliged if you would inform Captain Buck that the war council will unfortunately have to be postponed a little. Sure. Sure. I'll get right on it. All right. Time to finally get to work.
Captain Buck. Look at all these mercies. Um, yeah. Basically going the same route I did last time. Oh. Well, it is in the famous rolling. We're in town a few days and you're a flavor of the month or so I hear. What business could one so lofty have with a lowly soldier such as myself, hmm? Signs of it. Mm. I see, I see. So the council of war has been postponed. Shan't forget. Oh no! Oh, there was one other thing. There's been a change. There's been a change to the posting for some of the guards. All men assigned to the night shift on the east and west blocks are to patrol the outside of the castle instead. Oh, a very mysterious change to the routine. But ours is not to reason why. Shall be done, Mr. Rowland. Sir, it shall be done. Mm hmm. Good. I'll leave you the password to the shift surgeons. Yes. But of course, your magnificence. Leave it in my capable hands. Why are you sneaking around, dude? Aren't you... Didn't you betray these guys? Or didn't you join sides with them? Good. Coast is clear. Hmm. Hmm. So we need a little too smoothly. Going to Evan's room. I'm feeling a little bad about what I had to do to poor Kimbosh. Kimbish. Yep, good old Evan's room. Mwah. Can you some guess? Well, nothing this little guy can't fix. I'll shoot the door open. The heck? Hello? Wow, wow, wow. Bum bum. The lockety clicker scuttles off looking pleased with itself. <laughs> it actually worked. Now I've seen everything. Thanks, little guy. All right, here goes. Mark of Kings should be in here somewhere. Yeah! Ship's nearly ready. Time to weigh anchor and set sail on the high seas, yar! Uh huh. Yeah, it's time to go and get to the Hydropolis to sign up to the declaration. But we have to think beyond that, too. Most of all, we need to think about what to do about Dean Dundell. They won't be making peace with us anytime soon. Pah, they won't be letting us close enough to even shout about peace. Well, air is crawling with soldiers. There is a way we might be able to get past them, you know. It's a path only open to members of the whole royal family called the King's Way. Huh? What's that when it's at home? And why have you been mentioning it before? Hmm. Well, because we won't be able to access it without the Mark of Kings. Huh. What well, exactly is that? It's a pendant passed down among the rulers of Ding Dong Dell. It serves as proof as the right to rule, and as a key to, a key to certain secret pa places. You literally just repeated this to Mousinger. If it's that important, you can beat Mousing but Mousinger will be looking for it too. It was given to me when my father passed away, but well, I. You wouldn't left it behind when you skedaddled, eh? Now, where exactly did he squirrel that thing away, laddie? 
Well, there are hidden rooms in the castle, you see. I thought it would be safest there, in the one connected to my chambers. They were designed so that the royal family could hide in times of emergency. And with the help of the mark, even escape if need be. <sighs> and how exactly did ye come to leave something so useful behind, ye feckless youth of ye? <sighs> I'm guessing it's because of a certain somebody appeared out of thin air, and then all hell broke loose. I shouldn't think that anyone knows about the secret room except myself, which would mean that Mousinger probably hasn't found it yet. Unless you know exactly where to look for the switch on the statue in the corner of the room, I shouldn't think you'd ever find it. Oi. It's not very interesting, but if we need to go to Ding Dong Dell to find the thing we need to get into Ding Dong Dell, that's not very... That's not much use, really, is it? Hmm. Mm, I suppose not. Says you left corner of the room. Let's see now. Womp womp. Huh. Bingo. So that's where the entrance was hidden. That's right. I would have found unless I knew where to look. You know something I... Did I mention this already? So in quests here, all of them have just been, you know, chapter 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5. They've only gone up to 5, and we're already on the fourth one here. So we'll see. Wow. Pretty big room. Pretty high away down here. Huh? Why keys in the chest, maybe? Guess this stuff wants to help Evan make good his escape. Might as well grab it while I'm here. Starfall sword. Ah, this must be the family heirloom itself. Mark of the Kings. Mark of Kings, huh? Very impressive. Didn't Masuka say it was red? <laughs> Very clever, Massinger. Very clever. Trying to send me on a wild goose chase, huh? Guess he doesn't trust me as much as he pretends. Huh? Wait. Maybe it's just using me to find this place. Oi! What are you doing in here? Oh, uh, oh just uh. looking for something. Oh. Something very special indeed. The Mark of Kings, if I am not mistaken. So it was hidden here all along. And hidden very well. Believe me when I say we searched long and hard. I am disappointed. And to deceive one's professed master is most uncivil. <laughs> All's fair in love and war. Isn't that what they say? Indeed it is. I am so very glad not to have believed you for a moment. Now, if you would be so kind as to hand over the mark. I don't think so. This belongs to the king. My king. Of course, if you'll sign the declaration, I'll be happy to make you a trade. You speak of your pathetic union. Now, I hardly think you are in any position to bargain. Not interested, huh? Well, let me know if you change your mind. To send a spy was most cunning. I must confess I had not thought your young protégé capable of such young protégé. Well, he's not about to poison his rivals or anything, but he's coming along. Very droll. But you of all people surely understand that no dream worthy of the name can be achieved without certain sacrifices being made along the way. It had to be done. And I would do it again. 
again in a heartbeat. I'm sure you would. So what is this dream of yours exactly? For too long, our kind have suffered at the hands of the Grimalkin. My dream is a simple one. To see our feline oppressors prostrate themselves at our feet. Prostrate themselves Revenge, at in our other feet. words. Oh, call it what you will. It matters not. I have achieved my aim. A new era beckons. And my dream is now a reality. Tell me something. If your kind were so downtrodden, how exactly did you wind up becoming King Leonard's Chancellor? Pa! Hmm? He used me! I was the unwitting tool of my persecutor. A puppet chosen to make my people more compliant. Whatever helps you sleep at night. <gasps> uh, ow! <laughs> I am tired of listening to this man. We should kill him, here and now. Hmm. Very well. Men, forward! Well, here goes nothing. That's yeah! right. Come and get me. Sure, that Chancellor dude is probably not as Dorlin, isn't it? I got these cool shades on. Future's so bright, I gotta wear shades. And of course, they have the sun. I'm actually curious if that if that was like planned. What was the sun? Was that cool? Yeah, here. There's something I need to take care of first. I was actually curious if they would Ow 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 motherfucker I was actually curious if uh they would attack me even though I'm at a uh, higher level. Oh my god, fuck. Oh my god. So which way should I go? Wait, this is literally the way I just came from. Seriously, I... Escaping. Away. 
You good to go? Over there! That was weird. <laughs> I'm lying around the bush. All right. Nah. <laughs> this is where you come in. Look at all those and nifty toys. toys. You devil, swine, traitor, murderer. Uh -huh. Charming. Listen, calm down. And ask yourself this: If I'm a murderer, how come you still got breath to curse me with? And why there was no? Why did Mazagar uh -huh. as if there was no blood? I hear that is uh him. I shot you, sure, but not with real bullets. With the ones that not designed to make you look dead. What's that now? What with, with what now? What possessed ye to be bringing such confounded doodads along with ye? Might I ask? No time to explain. Here, swallow this. Roland pops a ribbity drop in Cumbush's mouth before he has a chance to resist. Whoa. Whoa. Stay calm. We're off for long. At least it's supposed to. <laughs> My turn now, I guess. Well, down the hatch. Hey, we're back to being frogs like we were in the first game. They're not here either, your majesty. Gah! Gah, curse you, Roland. <laughs> Look at Blue Frog rolling. Excuse me? I think it's time you told us the truth, don't you, Leander? Well, you've seen through our artifice, Your Majesty. Yes. Of course I have. Roland would never betray us. Or at least not so clumsily. I have to say, I expect more of him. <laughs> the plan could perhaps have been executed with a little more finesse, I concede. Huh? What in blazes are you both blabbering about, curse ye? In order to deceive one's enemies, one must first deceive one's friends. It's not, well, not what they say. What his majesty means to say is that the Roland's betrayal was nothing of the sort. The entire affair was an elaborate stage performance. Snakes alive! What? You mean to tell me this whole sorry mess was one of the blasted scoundrels' confound schemes? Hmm. I might not have chosen to pull it quite that way, but yes. On return from Broadleaf, I could not help but notice that a number of prying eyes have been placed around the castle. These devices allow one to su superdiposely watch over a location remotely through the use of certain scary magics. Being familiar with sorcery of this kind thanks to Queen Nera's surveillance of Hydropolis, it attracted my attention right away. Upon sharing my con concerns with Roland, we investigated together and discovered the presence of an agent of Ding Dong Dell in our midst. Rather than a master spy remove the prying eyes, Roland insisted to, insisted to devise a rather ingenious plan to use them to our advantage. First step in the plan was to make a show of ex expressing certain disloyal behaviors in full view of the eye. Next was to ensure that our allies, too, grew suspicious of his motives. This is why he contrived to carry out his dubious liaisons just as the guard was being changed. As you know already, this card was sworn, this card was sworn, and the traitor in our midst was duly ejected. 
And having witnessed all this by means of his prying eyes, the spy approached Roland with an offer he could ill afford to refuse. Forgive me. Patu, rogue figure you took for a sinister victor from another realm, is none other than myself. It was necessary to source suspicion in the mind of one from whom we could expect a suitably violent reaction. <laughs> ye used me! Ye played me like a blasted fiddle! Hmm. <laughs> I rather fear we did. But deep down we... Down you knew, did you not? Some part of you sensed that he would never have betrayed us. If I may be so bold... Why else would you have sent your men to find him? Or did you think I was not aware of your little charade? <laughs> what? Ye! So, does all this mean that Roland is still somewhere in Ding Dong Dell? For what possible reason could he have to be going there all alone? Hello. Oh, no. Let me explain, Your Majesty. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Roland! Okay, let me, let me take care of my kingdom first, Roland. Say. It's a lot of money that I just got. Holy fuck. Thank God I increased my coffers. That shit would not have been up at all. Could put him in here. What about you? Well, you're a smither. I could put you in here, and you, yeah, you still give me the good stuff. So, The ultimate shock tactic in which all units are completely healed. Okay, I'm done with that. <laughs> Sorry, Evan. Put you through a lot. <sighs> we were so worried about you, Roland. But you're back now. That's the most important thing. Oh, that chair! Yeah, tell us where you've been and what you've been up to. Crikey! You don't know. I've loved a man cap job, yeah? Least you could have done is invite me along for the ride. Look, I want to apologize. I didn't have to trick you all I wouldn't have done. Sorry. <laughs> well, you certainly had me going, lad. Hook, line, and blessed sinker. <laughs> Flip it up. Can't all of us going, you horrible man. <sighs> but I think we all still believe in you somewhere deep down. Did my guess proves useful in the end. Sure. Sure. Lock picking bugs, frog pills. Sure, not to keep things interesting. Here's why it's all worthwhile. Having this for you. The Mark of Kings. Golly! The Mark of Kings! 
golly! Uh-huh. Now you can open the king's way and get back to Ding Dong Dell without having to go through all those soldiers. Master Gear was desperate to find it too. Just like I thought you would be. It might be just the bargaining chip we need to get him to sign the declaration. Thank you. Thank you so much, Roland. Now I can finally go back to Ding Dong Dell. Back to the home he stole from me. And so at last the hour had come for Evan to return to Ding Dong Dell and convince King Mao Zedong to sign the Declaration of Interdependence. Bright-eyed, yet heavy-hearted, he prepared to oh, take shit. the final step the, jazzer? the journey he had begun, what now seemed a lifetime ago. It was time to bring his dream of a united world one step closer to reality. Oh, damn, this is the end of the chapter, huh? Oh, wow, okay. Did my father and Mausinger hate each other? Sometimes it's just not possible for people to stay friends. Sometimes the circumstances just won't allow it. I can't believe that father would have hated someone, or been suspicious of them, simply because of their species. That racist. Why else would Mausinger do what he did? I suppose he was afraid. Afraid? Of what? That the great man he dedicated his life to was using him and would one day cast him aside. Think about it. What could be more frightening than being discarded by someone you love? Not that I know all the details, of course. Right. Alrighty. Well, there we go, guys. That is going to do it for this part of Let's Play Nino Kune 2, The Revenant Kingdom. In the next part, guys, we will, um... Uh, we'll start chapter 8. We're getting fairly close to the end of the game here, uh, I feel. Um, I honestly don't know, again. Um, I think I will cover DLC stuff. However, there's a lot of DLC stuff, and you have to be, like, at level tw 120 in order to do that stuff. And I'm only halfway to level 100. So, I don't know. Unless there's some, like, really good grinding spots, we'll see. And maybe I can lower it to the difficulty as well, but we'll see. But anyway, guys, like I said, that will do it. Uh for this part so thank you all so much for watching this video guys if you like the video please give that like button a click and comment down below check about the video didn't like about the video and let me know guys what you think of um roland did you think he betrayed us or did you know from the start he's like nah he wouldn't betray you so yeah i mean i know this game's like four five years old but when you first played it let me know and as well as guys hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a beat and subscribe to the main channel too that's in the description below as well as follow me on Twitter. Both my main Twitter, the RBG Kim Kid Twitter, are in there too. And thank you all so much for watching once again. And I'll see you all next time.